Man, I just got to show you this. I got to show you what my son got me for Father's Day, which is today, Sunday. Um, you know, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. First, let me show you these two items of interest. Uh, excuse me, just real quick. He got me these really nice magazines about Star Wars, which is really cool. Uh, Star Wars, the ultimate guide to the uh, complete saga right there. Which I thought was very nice and he also got me this uh, uh, Life George Lucas the Life magazine George Lucas and the making of Star Wars which is really awesome but let me show you what he really blew me away with I mean this was just incredible I could not believe it man when I when when uh, Star Wars came out in '77, of course I went to the theaters to watch it, like any other any other kid my age, and I was just like, whew, seeing Darth Vader on the big screen and just you know hearing that. I didn't know what the hell that was. I, it, it scared me to death, you know, hearing the Tie Fighters go into space and the X Wings, man. Just you know, I was like, that is so cool. I had a bunch of those toys growing up. Of course, when I got older, I didn't, I didn't, you know, got rid of them, sold them, whatever. I don't remember, you know, and uh, who knows. So I'm trying to build up a small collection now, which is very, very, very small. It's uh, not worth any kind of money, but it just brings back cool memories for me. But let me show you what my son got me today, which is, it just blew me out of the water. This is an original 1978 X-Wing fighter. I had the same thing when I was a kid, and it even came with a Luke X-Wing figure. And now you can see it's, 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 an okay, it's okay shape, man. It's pretty damn, look, you hit that and the wings come open just like it did when I was a kid. It's got the, all the missile cannons on here. I mean, this is an original 1978. And uh, you would put some batteries in here and you'd press the button and it would light up that red light right there. And it would go, you know, or whatever the, I don't know, I need to try to put some batteries in it and see if it still works. You know, a couple of stickers are missing. It's okay. And I still, I still have, well, I don't have it. The box, the original box came with this damn thing. The box is a little dilapidated, but it's still, it's not shredded or nothing like that, but for it to be an original 1978 toy the person took pretty darn good care of it i would say um we actually saw this on on ebay uh when i was at my parents uh when i was up there for my dad's passing actually we were i was on my dad's laptop just surfing the web looking on ebay one night and i saw this and it was like 80 bucks the guy wanted 80 dollars for it and uh so yeah, I mean, it was played with, which hell, uh, you know, if you were a kid, all that stuff was played with, right? Um, it's got the stickers on the bottom. It's just missing the one on the top, which you can see right there. But man, who cares? Man, you know, I mean, it's just, this is just, it's got the, the landing gear right there, the leg, and <laughs> I couldn't believe he got me this. I was just so blown away i was like what I'm, I'm holding this in my hands right now it just it brings back great memories when i was a kid i mean because i remember having this and uh i only had two ships out of the star wars line when i was growing up i didn't i didn't have an at at or i didn't have a um chicken walker i didn't i had this and a snow speeder and ironically i found a snow speeder on ebay earlier this evening for uh I think it was right at seventy dollars, and it has its original box as well. And those were the two ships I had as a kid. I had a, quite a few figures, but the I had the land speeder. I had that. I think that's more of a vehicle. I don't think it's a ship, but I had the land speeder, the X-wing, and the snow speeder. That was the three, one vehicle, two ships that I had when I was a kid. So I actually have a land speeder in the other room. It's a Power of the Force line, so it's not an original piece. Um, still in the box. I haven't even opened it. Um, but I can't wait for the Snowspeeder to get here. Um, 
it just, you know, it's just, uh, especially now that my dad has passed, I kind of look back on things when I was a kid, you know, and I had a, you know, Star Wars, when you was, you know, if you were a kid of the mid 70s, Star Wars helped you have a great childhood. I mean, it did me, man. I mean, if you had just a little bit of imagination, you could go a long way with toys like this. But, you know, it was just cool that he got me this. I was really blown away that he got me this original 1978 uh, X-Wing, you know. And um, I don't know, man. I didn't know what else to say. I was just like, are you kidding me? You know, I was like, is that the one we were looking at? It Grandma and Grandpa? He goes, yeah. He goes, yeah, that's the one. I said, man, I was wanting to buy that thing. He goes, I know you were. He said, when you went to sleep, I went on eBay and I went ahead and bought it. Had it shipped to my house. And there you go. Father's Day gift. So it's really cool. So uh, I was just floored. It's like, wow, I, I just couldn't believe it. So there we go. I get to hold a piece of my past, per se, um, that I had was a when I was a kid, and I don't know whatever happened to that stuff. You know, who knows, man? My mom probably threw them all out or at a yard sale when I got older. And, you know, I don't know, man. Who knows? I mean, but when I was a kid, I'd have no idea that this stuff was going to be as popular as it is now. I had no clue, you know. Again, I have nothing on certain channels I've seen on YouTube. They have... I mean, their collections are incredible, and their uh, ships and all that are still in original box. Uh, you know, haven't been open, still sealed, still not unopened. Just like, whoa, man! So I don't have nothing on those guys, but I was just really happy to get just this this one original piece right here from when I was eight years old. You know, I was like, wow, man, because these these are hard to find, man, and this is actually in. Uh, it's in pretty dang good shape to be a toy that's played with and whoever had it they just put it up and they never really messed with it much anymore but uh it's pretty good so anyway all right thanks for watching there we go an x-wing fighter from 1978 from kenner with uh luke x-wing luke pretty cool thanks for watching see you later bye-bye right. this is a squire j5 telecaster 22 frets. It's amazing. Nice mirror pick guard. Stock pickup, surprisingly. <laughs>